ginseng, health effects and risks. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. Ginseng is a popular herbal supplement, as you know, and it has some impressive um, promote, health promoting properties. I won't deny that. But there's also some concerns and precautions I have that you should know about when it, when it comes to using ginseng as a supplement. Now, Panax ginseng is the most widely used form of ginseng, or it's the most widely studied as well. And Panax ginseng, just so you don't get confused, is also known as Asian ginseng, Chinese ginseng, and Korean ginseng. They're all the same. There are other forms of ginseng that haven't been studied in the same depth, really. American ginseng and Siberian ginseng, but they probably have similar properties. And it's primarily the roots of the plant that are used for medicinal purposes. Now, the clinical studies where we've seen good health outcomes with using ginseng, usually they're using a standardized grade of ginseng containing at least 5% ginsenicides, which are sort of the active ingredients in ginseng that give the medicinal properties. So what are those properties? Well, the, the health benefits that we've seen from ginseng supplementation studies is that it seems to be a pretty good adaptogen. That means it can help you deal with stress to a, a better degree, suppressing the over-release of cortisol and, and helping to decrease the effects of stress across many parameters. So that's, that's important. Also has immune modulating effects, helping the immune system work in a more efficient way. It can be helpful in the management of menopause. It can help men with erectile dysfunction problems. And it may even help with glucose regulation in pre-diabetics and diabetics. But there are some side effects associated with ginseng. Insomnia, diarrhea, skin eruptions, vaginal bleeding, breast tenderness are all reported. And then people who use it on a more frequent basis, and this is how most people use supplements, there's, there's been some evidence that it may actually raise blood pressure, cause restlessness and some additional nervousness in addition to the other things that I mentioned, and insomnia. My big concern with ginseng is that there are many, many drug-nutrient interactions, that, and some of them are dangerous interactions. And this is why, you know, I look at ginseng and say there's a lot of great things, but I, I can see other supplements that do the things that ginseng does without the drug-nutrient interactions and without so many side effects being possible. So in my view, before you use a supplement that contains ginseng, you should read my short review article on it. Just click on the link below to access it. It explains also the dosage to use for various health applications. Because you should read it because ginseng, if it's used improperly, can cause some serious life-threatening outcomes. I'm not kidding about that. So click on the link below, read the article, and get the facts. If ginseng is, a, is contained in any supplement that you're taking or you're thinking about taking ginseng, then it's something you really should be aware of right now. Uh, all the references are there so you see you're getting only evidence-based information. Which reminds me that at machinohealth.com, the same is true of all my other research review papers. You'll see all the, all the uh, scientific references there. You can also view some of the professional seminars that I've taught on video to health practitioners on selected topics. And I have other resources and downloads. They're all there to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. And at machinohealth.com, it should be a reliable resource for you. If you're looking for any health or wellness information that applies to you or any of your family members. So thanks so much for watching.